everybody! Welcome to TBC Kids. Today we are going to talk about plants, which is why I wore this flower shirt. Um, this is actually something we're going to talk about in some way or another all summer. I have a big kids series coming up, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully next week we'll be able to meet in person, but I'll keep doing videos for a while. As always, this is a good video to watch with your families. There will be times to pause and discuss, and discussing with someone else is always a great way to be engaged in what we're talking about. Now, a few months ago, back in April, we did some work to our yard. Uh, we had a bunch of rocks and a bunch of weeds, and it meant that my kids didn't have a big yard to run and play in, and that wasn't very fun at all. So I wanted a safe place for them to play outside, so we set to change this. So the very first thing we needed to do was to make a good place for the grass to grow. So grass doesn't grow on rocks because it's, there's nowhere for it to put its roots. So it might grow up a little bit, but then when the sun hits it, it just dies. So it's really important that there's a place for the grass, which is the green part that's up above, to have those roots that dig down deep below so that the grass is nice and stable and safe. So we brought in a big truck full of dirt and carried it all in. It took a really long time, but we were thankful for some help from our kind neighbors. And then we had a firm foundation for our grass to grow. Next, we put some seed. So grass can't grow without seed because seeds are literally what makes the grass to begin with. Um, inside of each tiny little seed is a, a grass that's ready to grow. Um, so they're sort of like baby plants. Um, so with the right care, a seed can grow into grass or into pretty much any plant you can see. Even a big tree can come from one single tree. Um, so one single seed. So we had to put down lots of seed because we wanted lots of grass. Um, and the instructions said to make sure that we put the seed just a little teeny bit below the um, top layer of the dirt so that the birds didn't eat the seed. So we did that too. Then we just left it, right? Just didn't have to do anything else and there was grass, right? Well, not quite. Grass needs a couple more things to help it grow. Sun and water. Now we can't make the sun, but we certainly can water the grass. So we tried to water it almost every day that it didn't rain so that the plant could grow nice and healthy. And then the sun would come and, you know, it would dry up the rain and then we'd water it again. And bit by bit, theoretically, the grass would grow. So since we planted the grass in April, though, there wasn't much sun at the beginning. In fact, there wasn't much at all. Um, so we waited and we waited and we waited. And it was a little bit sad because there was no grass at all for three weeks. Three weeks is a long time to wait for something to grow. But sometimes we need to wait for things to grow and things to happen, and we have to be patient. Has there ever been a time when you've had to wait a really long time for something? Have you ever had to be really patient to wait for something to happen? Now this is a good time to pause to discuss. For us, finally the sun started to come up and we saw those first blades of grass just peeking out of the ground and it was so exciting. But do you think the work stopped then? Not quite. If we'd left the grass all alone now, it would probably have gotten too dry and died. We still had to take good care of our grass to help it grow strong. Now, we have quite a bit of grass in our yard. It's not perfect. There are still some places where the, the seed fell a little thin and the grass didn't grow well. And some places where the trees made too much shade so it didn't get enough sun. And the grass didn't grow well there either. There's even a few spots where my dog peed on the grass, and that grass didn't grow so well either. There's also places where this nasty weed we have in our yard called goat weed came up, and it actually kind of came up and it, it stopped the um, grass from having enough room to grow, and the grass just kind of like, uh, it, could, it just didn't fit in there, and it couldn't do what it needed to do any longer. Um, so that those weeds kind of stopped the grass too. But in general, we have quite a bit of grass. There's also a few spots that didn't take at all that I think I will need to put down, start from scratch, and that's okay. That's just part of working on a yard. Now, did you know that Jesus talked about planting seeds in the Bible? 
Now, I'm going to do it a bit differently today. We're going to look up a whole parable in the Bible and read it together, not just one verse. At least the first part of it. So last week in the big service, we talked about the parable of the prodigal son. This parable is actually found in the book of Matthew, the book of Mark, and the book of Luke. We are going to read it from the book of Matthew today. So Matthew 13, verses 3 to 8. So um, if you have a Bible, go get it. Um, but if not, um, I'll help you get it. So Matthew was actually the first book of the New Testament. So we know the New Testament is about two-thirds of the way around. So if you divide the Bible into three pieces, the New Testament is right around the beginning of that third piece. Let's see. Yeah, this is Luke. So I didn't go much too far at all. Mark. And Matthew's the first one. So we're looking for Matthew 13. So big number 13. And then little number 3. And if you have a Bible with um, red letters, because Jesus is saying it, it will be in red. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, but because the soil was shallow, when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. And then Jesus says, he who has ears, let him hear, which means everybody, because we all have ears. So this is just like my grass. Birds can eat the seeds, Plants don't grow well on rocks, and weeds could come up and destroy parts. But then there were the parts that grew well too. And why? Because they had a good foundation and they were taken care of because a farmer always takes care of his crops. Did you know that we are like seeds too? That's why Jesus told parables. Parables are stories to explain big truths in easier to understand ways. I basically just told you that same story about my grass. But what does it mean? We are the seeds that can grow when we hear about Jesus. Some people hear about Jesus and they don't really care. And that seed doesn't grow. Some people get really excited for a little bit and they grow quickly, but they don't spend enough time with Jesus and they don't read their Bible and they don't spend time with people who can teach them about Jesus. And those roots never get to grow, just like they kind of grew on those rocks. Those people are excited for a little bit, but then that kind of falls to the wayside and that they stop being excited and stop trying to follow Jesus. Some people try to grow, but get mixed up in bad things or spending time with people they shouldn't spend time with. And then it's like those weeds come up and choke the plants. But other people, and I hope that's you, get excited about Jesus and take time to get to know him so we can grow and grow and grow. We can water those plants by, and help them get sun by praying and reading our Bible and spending time with Jesus. We don't want to be like the sad patchy parts of my grass. We want to grow and grow and grow. What part of the grass do you think you're like? Do you think you can get excited about Jesus and be the really vibrant growing crop like Jesus talked about in his parable? You can pause here to discuss a little bit about how you feel about that. Now there's one more thing I didn't tell you about grass. Grass can help other grass grow, and most plants can do this too. So depending on the type of grass, it can spread into more plants. So one blade of grass can become two, which can become three and four, and it keeps spreading along. Or um, it can sprout it in clumps from when it started. So one piece of grass becomes like a clump of a bunch of pieces of grass that also spreads. Um, but both ways lead to good grass, making more grass. So as we grow, we can also tell more people about Jesus and how to spend time with him and help them to grow too. Being good, strong, 
Being good, strong, healthy Christians helps us to help others become that too. Is there anybody you know of that you could tell about Jesus that they could learn too? Let's pause here to discuss. I can't wait to see some of your friends in church or at some activities or hear that they're watching your videos because these good seeds can bring more seeds too. Let's pray together. I want you to remember that closing our eyes and folding our hands is a way to stop the things that we can see and the things we can touch from distracting us. But God can hear us no matter what we do and he wants to hear from us. I'm going to pray first and you can pray after me in your head or out loud. It doesn't matter, God can hear it all and God loves it all. Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that we are your seeds and you want to help us to grow for you, Jesus. Please help us to spend time with you and to help us get those deep roots and help us get excited about you, God, and grow, grow, grow. Please also help us teach others about you so they can grow in you too. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. So we're still going to sing one little song today. Um, this is an easy one to help you remember how to grow in Jesus. It goes, Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Sing it again. It goes, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. So let's grow, grow, grow together in Jesus. Let's be like that seed that fell on the good soil and grow. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you next week, hopefully in person. Bye for now.